So for comparing two sets of data in terms of their means, um, this is something where you would use a t-test. It might be, for instance, if you're trying to compare two methods with the same sample. So you take replicates for um, that sample on both methods, and you want to compare them in terms of comparing their mean. Uh, the way you would do that is with a t-test. So you calculate the experimental value of t by taking the difference between the two mean values, the mean of data set A minus the mean of data set B. And then we have this kind of uh, averaged standard deviation for the two sets of data. We call that S pool. And then divide that by the square root of one over number of observations of data set A divided by number of observations in data set B. So the first thing we need to do uh, is to figure out um, the number of data sets, or the number of um, values within the, each data set. So for A and for B, and then the standard deviation of A and B, and the mean of A and B. So again, using a um, calculator or a spreadsheet. So we're going to make up some values and say we have five um, values in each data set. Standard deviation for A is 0.3563. For B, it's 0 0.2607. The mean value for A is 11.18. And for B is 11.14. Once we have these values, we have everything we need. Um, but first, we have to calculate this value, this pooled standard deviation. So to do that, this is kind of like a weighted um, root mean square deviation. So the pooled standard deviation is Na minus 1, or the number of degrees of freedom for data set A times the standard deviation of a squared, the variance, plus um, in b minus 1 times the standard deviation b squared. And then we'll divide that by the total degrees of freedom, which is na plus nb minus 2. Each data set, you subtract 1. So with two data sets, you subtract 2. And then we're going to square root that whole thing. Uh, so we end up with the pull standard deviation being 4 times 0.3563 squared plus 4 times 0 0.2707 squared, oops, I have space, um, divided by 8, so 5 plus 5 minus 2, and then square rooted. And we end up with a pulled standard deviation of um, 0.3122. Okay, now we can just plug everything into our calculation for the experimental T. So that's going to be 11.18 minus 11.14. Divided by a pulled standard deviation, 0.3122, multiplied by a square root of 1 uh, over 5, plus 1 over 5. And calculate that all out, we should get a value of 0 0.203. Uh, that's the experimental value. We compare with the critical value, 95% confidence. And degrees of freedom, which is given this symbol, um, for, again, two sets of data. So we've got to subtract 2, so it's 10 minus 2. So we're going to look up 8. And we look that up in the T table. We get a value of uh, 2.306. So again, the, the experimental value of T is less than the critical value. We accept the null hypothesis, which means that um, these two sets of data are equivalent in terms of their means.